when I first uh, experienced the mammillary bodies, they're not considered traditionally part of the land system. Where the, the, the awareness that came was guardian of the perceptions. And that space, time and space, disappeared or became one. So that things were no longer linear in space or time, and it turns out that's the fourth dimension that Einstein and uh, the physicists talk about, space and time not being this linear process. And exploring the embryology, we are experiencing that fourth dimension, or sixth dimension, or whatever, it's how we, what number someone gives it, where our embryology, which was in the past, is now in the present, but it's also in the future because as you experience it, it's in the future, it's coming back in time. So we're, we're experiencing on this level that isn't anymore past, present, and future as a linear process, but all time then is contained in one space. How I came to know that these were the mammillary bodies is about the same time, a little bit after, let's say within a year. It reminds me of your story, uh, Sri. Very soon after this exploration, somebody who was in that, that early study sent me an article on the voice in a Scientific American. And the article before it was about, a, I think it was before, it was a book that came out called The Temple of Man. I don't remember, I think the man was German, he was, he was a person who studied ancient cultures. And he spent 20 years in the Temple of Luxor in Egypt. And each, what he ended up in his studies was that each of the rooms of this temple related to an area of the brain. And he, they were some kind of super, what do you call it, you put on top of something? Superimposed uh, picture of the brain with the, temp, the temple. Anyway, the mammillary body was situated and the temple in the center of Luxor or something. Anyway, it was like all of it coming together, and that was one piece of it. And, and realizing they were the mammillary bodies, so 